All right, check these out. Some pretty stunning images from America's southern border. And a high-ranking drug cartel leader's arrest igniting gunfights on the Mexican side of the border. The violence escalating to the point of temporarily shutting down two international bridges. Authorities also confirm a grenade explosion at the U.S. consulate in Nuevo Laredo right across the U.S. border with federal employees there instructed to shelter in place. Correspondent Marky Martin is live for us tonight in Dallas. So, Marky, tell us why would getting a cartel leader off the streets actually turn into more violence? Yeah, Nicole, you're about to see a lot of video, but I will tell you right off the top, what is happening in Nuevo Laredo is exactly the kind of violence that Governor Abbott has been pointing to for the last year when he's touting his Operation Lone Star and his changing of leadership at the very top of the National Guard might actually be his first acknowledgement that things aren't operating smoothly. The sounds of gunfire piercing the night in Nuevo Laredo. Gang members paralyzing traffic with spike strips, charred tractor trailers lining the highway. You saw some of the destruction of 18 wheelers, vehicles along the pathway. Congressman Henry Cuellar from Laredo, Texas, says the violence was sparked over a high profile cartel arrest. One group is not happy because they caught their leader. The other two are saying, hmm, is there a vacuum in here? Maybe we need to come in. So there might be fights over uh, Plaza because of what happened capturing that high-ranking individual. The man arrested, one of Border Patrol's most wanted criminals, Juan Gerardo Trevino, also known as El Huevo. He's the leader of the Cartel of the Northeast with a long rap sheet. His arrest, a powerful blow to that gang's power in the area. Now, two other cartels are vying for their business. Three gangs taking to the streets, firing at Mexican troops and each other shutting down the U.S. consulate and two international bridges in the process. All of this on the same day Governor Greg Abbott appointed a new leader to run the Texas National Guard. General Thomas Seltzer is replacing General Tracy Norris, who had been in charge of the Texas Military Department for three years and the embattled Operation Lone Star since its inception. What we do know is that the results that we've seen on the border have been difficult living conditions for soldiers, endemic pay problem, lack of key equipment. Davis Winky is a reporter with the Army Times who first broke Operation operational problems with Operation Lone Star. A press release from Governor Abbott about the change hinted it was because General Norris' term was up. Winky believes there's probably more to the story. Yes, Norris's two-year appointment had expired, but her predecessor did seven years. It's pretty common for adjutants general around the country to be in service of their state for years, if not decades. So this is likely an early exit. And Nicole, Operation Lone Star, I mean, clearly a major hot button issue, not only here in Texas, but nationwide. And now Governor Abbott will be up for reelection. He's facing off against Beto O'Rourke come November. And O'Rourke himself uh, issued a statement yesterday saying in part this, you can switch generals, but we all know where the buck stops. Greg Abbott took 10,000 Guard members from their families, jobs and communities, eventually adding that it's time to send them all home. Nicole. All right, Marky Martin live in Dallas. Thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.